All right, Sisters fans, so I posted this thought in the Sisters Facebook group, and it didn't go over too well by some people, or well, most people, but, you know, I'm not, even in my post and on Twitter, I said, look, I'm not trying to blame Karen. I'm just saying, I'm just thinking out loud about the situation. It involves Jenna arresting Zach. Now, at this time, we still do not know the exact reason why Zach was being arrested, but here was the scenario I laid out. I said, okay, Going back to when Jenna popped up at the salon the second time, what if Karen gave Jenna Zach's phone number like he instructed her to do in, I believe, what was it, episode one of the season? You know, episode one, we get to the salon, Jenna's there, she talks to Karen, um, Karen doesn't say anything, and then Karen sneaks over to Zach's new place tells him about the situation zach's like i ain't doing nothing illegal fine next time this chick pops up just give her my phone number jenna pops up karen doesn't give her anything i think um didn't jenna say that hey i have something to give you if i give it to you can you give it to zach i mean it could have been like a subpoena or something but that apparently wasn't you know we never will know because karen didn't take anything she didn't give the phone number to um jenna jenna bounced because she got kicked out of the salon and then from there pam said she would take it upon herself to go you know get her con didn't she even like write down her license plate number or something and then she said i'll get my contacts to look into it but we never got follow-up on that because in last um this week's episode she pretty much told Karen, yeah, you know what? I can call my people. And I'm like, wait, why didn't you do that? I thought you did that like, what, one or two days ago. I mean, well, what's going on here? So, you know, Jenna said she wasn't a police officer or anything like that. And, um, you know, when she popped up on Zach, I don't know how she found him. Now, look, I'm not trying to put this on Karen. I'm just, again, thinking out loud. What would have happened if Karen had given Zach's phone number to Jenna? Or what would have happened if she took whatever it was Jenna wanted to give to Karen to give to Zach? And let's be honest here, with Pam right by her side, I have no doubt that, let's say if it was a letter or something or sealed document, Pam would have, Karen would have wanted to know anyway, but she would have opened it, found out what it was, some business she has no business looking at, and then maybe gave it to Zach if that. So I'm feeling like perhaps the fact that without a phone number, without whatever information she wanted to give Zach in his possession, Jenna probably felt like Karen was protecting Zach and helping him duck and dodge her. So that could have been a reason why his arrest was so flimsily done and forcefully done. I mean, I really would hope that Jenna would have gave more like, you know what? Yeah, your little girl, your, your ex-girlfriend or whoever, um, or ex-roommate Karen, you know, she's did a good job hiding you, but we tracked you down, which leads into the whole, wait, did Gary orchestrate this? Because he knows where Zach lives and, you know, did Hayden get over the information? There's so many convoluted parts of this thing that makes it more confusing the more you think about it, but it is an interesting concept because of the fact that, um, whoever this judge was that opened the case or, you know, allowed for Zach to get arrested has been apparently looking for him for quite a while and well the Hayden and Zach standoff was in the finale of season three meaning that by the time Jenna showed up that would have been the next morning so I don't know if it was about that a lot of people are leaning towards the whole child support thing which could make a little bit more sense and to be honest it isn't about the money in terms of, ooh, the money put a red flag on Zach. Well, maybe not because if it is about the child support thing. Remember that Jenna went to Karen first, so it's possible that Karen, uh, Zach's last known location was with Karen. And as a result, that's why Jenna went to her first. But, you know, again, I'm not trying to put all the blame on Karen. I feel like perhaps once we get to next week's episode, if we actually learn the reason why he's been apprehended, that could possibly make things a little better for um you know us as an audience to interpret what's going down because i really do wonder if karen had either listened to zach and just say hey give this woman the phone number the next time she shows up or had taken what jenna wanted to give to zach in the first place this could have been either avoided now the argument could be made well jeremy she could be deceptive she told karen that she wasn't a police officer then what did she do roll up on zach and got had him arrested with like four other officers there 
true, but I don't know. Again, like she could have been lying and the reason to find Zach would have been arrest him on the spot. I don't know, but I feel like Karen, you know, put it this way. Karen probably thought she was either protecting Zach by not quote unquote giving him up to Jenna and that possibly made things worse for him in regards to him being apprehended. And, and then there's also the asterisk of, well, you know, Karen just wants to stay in this business. Or the other side is kind of like Fatima. Every time she thinks she's doing something, oh, I'm taking care of Hayden, Hayden, or I'm doing this, or I'm doing that, because he's coming after Zach. She takes care of Hayden, but then that means Hayden goes at Zach even harder, making things bad for him. So it seems that Zach has this thing where he has to depend on a woman to lean on. And on the flip side, every time the woman thinks that they're doing Zach a favor or protecting him or keeping him safe, they actually make things worse for him. So it's kind of weird how that kind of, you know, it's like a weird cycle. All right, well, that's just my two cents on that. Again, this isn't a Karen hate video. It's just an observation. And I hope that this upcoming episode sheds some light on whether or not I'm completely incorrect or, you know, if it adds weight to my theory. So is this all Karen's fault? I don't know. So thanks so much for tuning in. Take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Also, side note, it would be really messed up if Karen's actions are the reason Zach got ap apprehended, because that would mean that's the second time that because of her, he got locked up. I do not count him being locked up in season two when he broke into the hotel room, Karen's fault. Zach did it on his own. I'm talking about when she filled out the warrant to get him arrested for the credit card stuff. And then in this case, by not giving him information Jenna wanted to give him or by not giving Jenna the phone number when Zach told her to, that led to him getting arrested. I don't know. So again, thumbs up button, follow me on social media, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel.